Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing another look with a Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection palette. This time we're using the Armed and Gorgeous palette. It looks like this. And I just think it is so pretty. I'm very excited to play with this shade here. And I think I might do a sort of cut crease. Yeah, so I think that this is going to be such a pretty look with this palette. If I look a little bit funny, I'm doing a foundation wear test first impression right now. So that's why I have my foundation on right now. But we will do the rest of our face in this tutorial. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is, even though I have some foundation on my lid, I do want to prime them. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of my Kylie concealer in Bone. And then to prevent any creasing, I'm just going to set my lids. Just with a translucent powder. Okay, so now that our lids are set, I'm gonna zoom you in and we're gonna start this eye look. So the first shade we're gonna use in the Armed and Gorgeous palette is this Access shade right here. And I'm using that on a Morphe 504. And we're gonna buff that into the crease. We're gonna blow this out pretty high. actually really pretty seems to be blending pretty nicely too then with a morphe m573 we are going to go into secure and we're going to buff that into the crease but not up above it so we just want to keep that like right here oh that shade is pigmented and it actually just like blended right in Nice. This shade does have a little bit more kickback than the first shade, but it's not excessive and it is very pigmented. I think that's beautiful. Wow, okay. I'm really impressed. Now, now we're going to deepen that up with this shade right here, Smooth Criminal. And we're using that on a Morphe M433. And we're gonna take that into the crease. Whoa. Okay. We're gonna kind of take it at a little bit of an angle and bring it in. Okay, that smooth criminal shade was not as easy to blend but I think it still turned out pretty nice definitely not as easy to blend but we are going to push through I think I'm gonna use the same M433 with this top secret shade. And just gonna see how this shows up. Ooh. Okay. Like that. All right, so we're gonna run that in the crease as well. Th 
that shade's easy to blend. Okay, okay. And then I'm just gonna mix a little bit of that Smooth Criminal with the Top Secret on the same brush. And I'm just gonna make sure there are no harsh lines. And then I'm gonna take my first brush with a little bit of that access color. We're just going to get that right there. And then just back in with a little bit of that top secret. Just get back what we lost in the blending. And with just a little bit of secure, just to make that orangey up there much better. Now, do I want? I kind of want to leave it there, y'all. I kind of want to do a matte look. It's been a while. All right, we're gonna do a matte look. I've decided we're not doing a cut crease, we're doing a matte look. I am taking my MAC 242 and that green secret shade. And I just wanna make sure that this green is nice and opaque. Since we are not cutting the crease, I'm leaving it, it's really pretty. So, I am just going to take my MAC brush and just run this over the green areas just to make sure and see how like much more opaque that is. Very pretty. Gorge. I love that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with my 433 brush, and I'm gonna dip into that Smooth Criminal and Top Secret shades, and I'm gonna make sure this is blended, and make sure to keep this brush like right in your crease. You don't wanna take this color up too high. All right, and then again with some of that secure shade. And then just a little bit with the 504 and some of that access shade. Wow, so pretty, okay. Now, I'm gonna do the face, I think. I'm gonna do my face. So let's zoom you out. For concealer, I'm taking that same Kylie Jenner concealer and I'm gonna put that under my eyes, on my forehead, down the center of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. And then I'm gonna blend it in with my beauty blender. I'm going to set that with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in Fair Light. Next, I'm gonna bring a little color to my face with the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25. And I'm using that with a Morphe E41. To bronze up my skin, I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in Deep Bronze. And I'm going to be using that with a Morphe R2. Ooh, that smells so good. 
that color is really nice. I have the regular one too, not the deep one. And it is kind of light. This is really nice. I'm going to contour my nose with this BH Cosmetics large shader brush. And I'm going to blend that all in with a duo fiber brush. That blended out really nicely. Now I'm just going to bake under my contour right here. I'm gonna put some under my eyes so when we do the lower lash line, if there's a little fallout, it's totally fine. And then I'm also gonna put some uh, on the sides of my nose contour and down the middle just to kind of set that. I am going to do the lower lash line now, so let's zoom in really quick. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Corrupt in my waterline. And then I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics Flat Shader Brush and I am going to take the color Smooth Criminal. I'm going to get that as close to the lower lash line as I can. And then we're going to take the Morphe E18 and that Top Secret shade and we're going to blend that in with the brown and we want to just like connect it with the top and I'm bringing that down pretty far you do get a little fallout with that shade so you do want to put a little translucent powder under there and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a mixture of the secure and access shade on my BH Cosmetics crease brush and we are going to blend that underneath that top secret shade to get a little bit of that orange under there and I am taking this down quite far I want it to be pretty smoky yes girl Woo. we are gonna go ahead and do that ah! you guys I didn't highlight my inner corner I'm sorry hold the thumb I'm taking this Sigma Exact Blend E32. I'm gonna try this Guilt Trip shade right here. I'm gonna wet my brush with some Fix Plus. And we're gonna pop that in the inner corner. Yes, just like that. Okay, and then the brow bone I'm probably gonna do with whatever highlighter I use on my face. I have some cool stuff to do for that. So that zoom me out first. All right, so I'm gonna go do my brows and some lashes and I'll be right back. I think this look turned out so pretty. I love the matte shadow. I like that the dark brown in the crease is giving it like some dimension. Mm. I think this is so pretty! <laughs> we are going to move on to blush. I'm using my fave, the Note Cosmetics blush in Desert Rose with my Luxie 504 brush. Ooh. Love a nice coral blush with a green khaki eye. Yes! Just gonna blend that really quick. Mm. Okay, so after the blush, we're gonna do highlight. I have some new Jeffree Star products. I have not tried his highlighters before, so I got the Sarcophagus Highlighter. This is a powder highlighter. It's really pretty, very bright. 
and kind of a champagne gold color. And then I also got the Liquid Frost, and this is in the shade Canary Bling. So what I am going to do, and this is really cool, this packaging, when you twist it, this little guy comes up, and then you can twist the cover off, and you have a little dropper inside. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little on the back of my hand. Whoops, that was a lot. Definitely didn't need that much, but that's okay. I'll put it on my decolletage too. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna take the back of my beauty blender and I'm just gonna dip it in. And dab it. Ooh. Ooh. This does have like a little bit of a pink reflect in it. Ooh, wow. I'm just going into the side that's like powdery on my beauty blender just to blend that all in. That's so freaking pretty. And then I'm just going to go over that with a little sarcophagus just to give me a hella glow with this look. Wow, really pretty. I'm just going to dab over a little bit of my blush. Kind of blend that. Super pretty. And then I am going to take this same brush. I'm just going to wipe it off a little bit that I used to highlight my inner corner. And I'm going to take that sarcophagus highlighter and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. Beautiful. And then I'm just going to take this brush here and I'm just going to blend those together. So pretty. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to move on to lips. I really want to do a dark lip. I really want to do a dark lip. I'm doing it, y'all. we doing it. To line my lips, I'm using the Kylie Jenner Lip Pencil in Spice. And I'm gonna line my lips with that. <clears throat> and then I'm taking the Tarte Tardiest Lip Paint in the shade Fly. Okay, I'm going to set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. You guys, it's so pretty. I love the yellow on the inner corner. I love the matte. I'm digging the lip. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And comment below if you like wearing a dramatic eye with a bright lip. If you would ever do this combo, or would you pair it with a nude lip? I was almost going to do a nude lip, and I think that this turned out so pretty. I love it. I think that this Jaclyn Hill palette was really nice. I did have a problem with that brown shade that I was using. I think it was skipping a little bit, but in the end, it ended up blending out really nicely with the rest of the colors. 
I think that green shade was so creamy and buttery and I think it blended in nicely with the brown shade. I think it looks really good on the lid by itself. It's a little bit more khaki yellow than it is like a dark green. I think it's so pretty. Well, I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy buys. So the first shade we're gonna use in this Omni Gorget palette, Gorget. Gorget.